Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAG. I praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what it is. A doctor's in the house, man. Dr. Boxing Talk. So, look, check this out, man. So, we have some big news. Oh, I guess not really big news, but we have some news in the light heavyweight division, man. Those of you that have been paying attention, you know, we have that contender named Ben Whitaker, man. Ben Whitaker out of the UK. <laughs> he be going crazy with the uh, with the dance moves. Pulled up in the fountain. Yeah, he be doing his thing, man. And um, I know a lot of people, a lot of boxing purists, pur boxing purists and sticklers for the game. They don't really like it. They think his, his antics are disrespectful, you know. And it reminds us a lot of Prince Nazim Ahmed, you know. But I think, you, um, uh, and I understand the, the, the similarities drawn because, of course, Prince Nazim Ahmed is from the UK. But it also uh, reminds me of Emmanuel Augustus, you know what I'm saying, a.k.a. the drunken master. Whoa, whoa. Augustus knew the ins and outs of fighting so well that he could literally dance around his opponents, earning him the nickname a drunken master he gets overlooked a lot too but they have a lot of similarities but it's understandable because emmanuel augustus is from the u.s and you know let's be honest his record wasn't that good so a lot of people don't really remember him unfortunately but he was an entertaining fighter man with their dance moves and the and the stuff that he did man you know uh, the way he fought you know it takes a lot of um it takes a lot of skill to do that you know at, at such a high level you know whether, whether you win or winning or losing it's just person nazim ahmed you know, he, he typically won a lot, so that's why people remember him um, until they ran to Marco Antonio Barrera. Not just waiting in, gets to the body. Which is the point of what I'm saying. Um, Ben Whitaker could potentially beat his version of Marco Antonio Barrera. What did he say? Hey. Oh. Not saying that this challenger for Ben Whitaker is, is a caliber of fighter of the legendary uh, uh, babyface assassin MAB. But my point is that um, those of you that watch Marco Antonio Barrera, what he did to Prince Nazim Ahmed, he sat down on his punches and he didn't fall for the BS and <laughs> he dropped our man badly. You see what I'm saying? So so with uh, the challenger to Ben Whitaker, which big up to Ben Whitaker for fighting him, is Ibo Ritze Ezra Aranyeka, better known as just Ezra Aranyeka, you know, a Nigerian fighter. You know, he 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 um shout out to Ben Whitaker for taking this challenge because he, he pulled up on his last fight um uh during the interview uh that that that, that Ben Whitaker had, the press conference with uh, Leon Willings or Wellings. Uh, and and he interrupted it, man. He had to be removed uh, by security. You know, he he was he was uh, intently and intensely calling out Ben Whitaker. What my nigga want me? Do you? <laughs> Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? Who the hell is he, man? <laughs> now we have that fight coming up, man. You know, I've, I've seen Ezra Arinyeka's fight um, at super middleweight. Um, I haven't seen too many of his fights. I think he's, 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 he has 12 fights. He's 12 and 0. Uh, I believe he has like an 85% knockout rate, 83% knockout rate. And um, yeah, so this is going to be a nice little challenge for Ben Whitaker. I think this would be his toughest challenge. Uh, and, and Leon Wellings was a tough challenge too. I saw that fight with him and Ben Whitaker. You know, he didn't really get to do his money at antics, but he still got to prove that he could win uh, 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 with, without him. You know, and I think that's going to be important in this match. So uh, I think it's too early to be to be to be seen uh, and to determine whether or not Ben Whitaker can uh, really fight in a traditional style and, and when he needs to. Um, <clears throat> but he's gonna we, we, we will see i think this will be a perfect test for it because ezra is going to come forward he's a pressure fighter from what i've seen um and and he likes to, he likes to throw body shots and as you know man you 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 go to the body the head will follow you know and and what they also say about boxing man you keep your eyes on the head you know you could be you could get dizzy right but that body pretty much stays stationary and ezra goes for the body a lot and as much as the dancing and jucking and jiving that you do you know that body's not gonna move too much you know so i, I think this is a good matchup it's gonna be a good test he's a tough guy uh, i will say that uh, ezra Arinyeka, he when he goes to the body sometimes he opens up a little bit too wide good body punches coming from uh, ezra and um depending on how well how how, how accurate ben how accurate and precise uh, ben whitaker is with his punches he could take advantage of that so i think it's a good test man both undefeated um yeah I, like i said man i, I like i like ben whitaker's style man <laughs> entertaining i love boxing i'm a boxing purist a pugilist enthusiast but at the same time i like to be entertained and what he's doing is entertaining and those of you that, that don't like it or discredit it i mean if it doesn't work it doesn't work and he's gonna get it gonna get knocked out viciously but eventually it, by, by, by doing the shenanigans damn I'm sorry. So you know, you know, or or he could show us that that's not the only thing he could do. You know, he could, he has other other facets to his game that just haven't haven't um, 
he hasn't he hasn't found it necessary to explore yet. You know, in the professional setting, you know, maybe he does it in sparring and stuff. So, so I, I, I just, just 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 don't be a let's be a proponent of acceptance. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and patience. You know, yeah, I, I don't have a problem with it. Man. I love his style. I'm looking forward to this fight. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about it, man. We got a. Uh, we got uh, Ben Whitaker versus Ezra Arinyeka, man. 7-0 versus 12-0, respectively. All right, man. I appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man. I love y'all for real. Don't forget to hit the like button. Kimba going after something. Go get him, Kimba. I don't know what he's going after. Hey, look, he running over there and Bandit this in right there. I don't know if y'all see Bandit. But yeah, uh, <laughs> but yeah, man. Don't forget to hit that like button. And as well, remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We are nothing. Peace. Love y'all, man. The doctor's out. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.